Hello my friends, welcome back. I am going to follow this as the usual with the meals that I had. I am showing the beginning of the week. So this past Monday through Wednesday, so it's going to be six total meals, my brunch as well as my dinner. I have been sticking with just two mad, two meals a day. Even with pregnancy, it has been really difficult to get an early meal in because I have just been so in tune all these years between doing keto for years, doing carnivore for over one, to simply just listen to my body and to truly follow what my hunger cue is and not just simply just the urge or be wanting just to eat. So still yet too mad is what it is. I've been absolutely happy with it. I'm never at the point of starving. So it does very much come naturally. So last week, Friday, it would have been March 22nd. I did have an OB appointment. As I mentioned to you all before, the OB office I go to, they do alternate the OB doctors that you see. That way you have a better chance of meeting the entire staff. That way it is a better chance come delivery day, you have already met the OB that is going to perform um, your delivery. So thankfully, it was truly a blessing. The doctor that I had last week, Friday, it was a complete breath of fresh air from that previous appointment that I had in February, because as you all know, that would have watched that vlog. It was a miserable appointment in February because that doctor was very much against keto or any kind of way of eating unless it was incorporating processed foods. So come to find out my last appointment in February, that was actually not a doctor, even though she introduced herself as such the doctor on Friday had assured me that no, she is actually one of the midwife nurses. Um, and the doctor had told me that she did not have any issue at all with me doing a keto way of eating. She said that she actually advocates for it. Um, because right now, currently she said that I might not be experiencing any weight gain, um, with this pregnancy, but she said that there could be possibility come around like the 20 ish and so on week mark in the pregnancy where women on average, they do end up gaining some weight because obviously baby's growing. Um, so she said that she really appreciates that at this point in time, every time I come there, my weight has consistently been the same. So my first appointment with them, was mid January. So you figure three months later, their scale has not indicated that I've even gained not even an ounce. So very much my weight has completely been at an exact plateau for these past three months. So she was really happy with that. Um, so she said that it is definitely telling that whatever I'm doing, that I should continue doing it. Um, and she said that that's just going to help me for definitely the weeks ahead to come because she definitely does not want to see me gain very much weight during this pregnancy. And she definitely debunked everything that midwife nurse had said as far as wanting me to incorporate things like pasta and um, bread and potatoes and sweet potatoes. She said, no, please stay away from those things because that will definitely have you put on a lot of pounds and it's gonna make your pregnancy very troublesome. So thankfully everything's been going okay with the veggies that I've been incorporating. There is moments where I definitely have been treading lightly um, with the veg. Um, but then there's moments where I'm kind of pushing it a little bit as far as the boundaries kind of coming out of my comfort zone um, to be able to get in <clears throat> the, the carbs that this doctor is wanting to see. So I definitely am going to adhere with what that most recent doctor had told me from last week, Friday, um, because she was just simply such a breath of fresh air that I literally cried and told her that I cannot 
thank her enough and I truly felt like it was really meant to be for me to see her at this past visit to be the voice of reasoning from what that midwife nurse had said and she actually even went as far as saying that she's going to have a discussion with that midwife nurse because she does not appreciate that she is advocating for such high carb um, and such processed food so we'll see how that goes between the two of them but I, I just wanted to share that with you all but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the chit chat that way I can go ahead and show you all the meals that I had at the beginning of this week as you can see I'm still embracing the simplicity because of course hectic schedule between working full-time homeschooling the two kids full-time as well as as you can see I'm recording in a different room than usual because my husband has been getting flooring done in the house um, so that's also kind of making the house kind of a complete upside down lately so I don't even want to record in the dining room where I usually try to record because you guys will see the complete mess that is in our family room because literally everything from the rooms that are currently getting flooring done all the furniture is in the family room but anyway i'm gonna stop the chit chatting and go ahead and show you all the meals that i've had at the beginning of the week monday through wednesday and as always my friends i appreciate everyone's support as always i want to thank you all for watching until the next one take care my friends all right, my friends, it is about 1.40 ish p.m. And I'm just, I literally just got out of work about 15 minutes ago. So I quickly put this together. I have these smash burgers that we did on the Blackstone, or I should say I did on the Blackstone. And I just put them in an aluminum, uh, kind of like a casserole container. Um, and we basically just feed off on them the whole entire week. It also makes things easy for my keto kids because while they're homeschooling and they're ready to take a little bit of a mini lunch break, they're able to put these in the microwave and heat them up very easily on their own. I did use just one extra sharp cheddar cheese slice to kind of distribute between the three smash burger patties. And that's also what I like to do. I like to just do the burgers plain for what I'm going to store away. It definitely helps the cheese not ooze all over the place when you have them already as cheeseburgers and trying to reheat them as cheeseburgers. The cheese definitely stays intact. And I have on the side three over easy eggs salted. And I do have a mix here, a small little bit amount, because as you all know, I have to incorporate a little bit of carbs. That is the agreement that I made with the OB. Um, but this is just a little tiny amount of red onion, some plum tomatoes, as well as a little bit of mushroom. I just sauteed it in a little bit of avocado oil spray and just salted it is all that I did to it. But this is what I'm going to go in with for this first meal for this Monday, March 25th. And for the eggs, I usually, as I showed you all, I purchased the Costco heirloom blue eggs but I've not had a chance to go to Costco this weekend. So this is my next best that I enjoy purchasing, which is the Happy Egg Company. And they are organic free range. These I purchased at Sprouts, but they do have them available at Walmart and other locations as well. For this Monday night's dinner, I'm going in with some Yurimi. I'll go ahead and post what I used in the description. But I do have um, some greens here. I did add some feta cheese as well as some dressing that I'm going to show you all. But the mix that I used is this Taylor Farms salad kit. All you'll see that's in my salad is the green cabbage, the romaine lettuce, the carrots, and the green onion. So everything else you see listed is not what I added um, because, of course, those have some sugars and some wonky ingredients that is not necessarily on the proper human diet so the dressing and you can see the kit there I have not even opened the kit that has those wonky ingredients that I spoke of including that shredded cheese here that has some potato starch in it but the dressing that I ended up using is this primal kitchen it was on sale for buy one get one for free at sprouts as well 
and this is just their Italian dressing and it's also able to be used as a marinade but it is with some avocado oil so that is basically the base of the mix and let me go ahead and show you all so you have the macro information if needed as well as the ingredient listing but that is what I'm gonna go in with for this Monday night's dinner Hey my friends, it is Tuesday. I just literally got off of work. So currently right now it is about 1.30ish p.m. And I'm gonna be going in with my first meal. So most definitely, even despite pregnancy, I'm still going in with some fasting time um, because I'm simply just thirsty during the day and I'm not hungry as of yet so i'm gonna go in with some of the salad mix that i showed you all from last night i do have some leftover of the gyro meat i did have it in the description as far as the recipe that i use to make this meat and i have some feta cheese that i purchased from aldi off the block just crumbled a little bit on top I am going to go in with a few strawberries. These, I purchased them at our local farmer's market. They are organic. So with berries being high in pesticides, I definitely go with the route of purchasing them organic. And for the dressing, I'm going to go in with the same dressing I showed you all from last night. It's the Primal Kitchen Italian Dressing and Marinade. I really did enjoy this yesterday. It really did have a really good kind of like a vinegary taste. It did have a lot of flavor. So I'm going to go in with that again. It was just a little bit of a drizzle that I did um, because I do have a lot of other different flavors going on. So I'm not one that dredges um, or soaks my salads with dressing, even pre-keto. So just a little drizzle is all I really need. But this is what I'm going to go in with before getting some housework done over here. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in so I can get a few tasks done over here. All right, my friends, for this Taco Tuesday, I'm going in with some ground lamb that I sauteed in some salt, some garlic powder, onion powder, some parsley, uh, and I believe that was it. I do have a little bit of Daisy Clean Ingredient Sour Cream. I have a half of a half of a Florida, a Haas avocado, and a little bit of greens. This is simply just the greens. This time I did not add any of my own dressing because I have enough mixture here to kind of combine it with, but it's definitely a small amount because of that first meal. I definitely got a lot of my veggie carbs in, and I do have just some homemade salsa here on the side. It is just a tomato that I pulse together uh, with onion, a jalapeno pepper. I did a little bit of vinegar, uh, salt, garlic powder, and that was it when it comes to the salsa. But I'm going to go ahead and dive in, but this will do me for this Tuesday night's dinner. All right, my friends, it is Wednesday. It is about 1.40ish. I just got off of work about 40 ish minutes ago so i'm going in with my first meal it was a really busy day it's actually been a really busy week but this is just some of the happy eggs that i showed you all just scrambled up i have just a very small a tiny amount probably like just uh one layer of a red onion is what i just chopped up and I have also some plum tomatoes that I sauteed with the onion and a little bit of avocado oil spray, scrambled in the egg, also scrambled in some leftover ground lamb from last night's dinner, and just simply just salted it all. On this side here, I do have some crispy baked turkey bacon. I have to go in with turkey bacon because myself, as well as our kids, we are allergic to piggy, so that is why I have to opt for the turkey bacon. I have not yet found a butcher in my area that does beef bacon, but I hear that it is absolutely delicious. So looking forward to the day that I get my hands on some, but for now I will be sticking with the turkey bacon and I am totally fine with having the turkey bacon. So I'm going to go in with this first meal and I will see you guys come dinner time so we can wrap up this week. 
All right, my friends, for this Wednesday night's dinner to wrap out the meals for the beginning of this week, I do have just some greens at the bottom. I do have some ground lamb that I have warmed up, a dollop of some daisy sour cream, and I have this Primal Kitchen. It is a buffalo ranch. It is dressing and marinade. Let me go ahead and go to the ingredients. That way you all can take a look at that information if it is important to you. So as you can see, for what I'm trying to do carb wise, this definitely looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and dive in. That way I can go ahead and sit down and enjoy dinner with the family. But that wraps out the beginning of this week. Thank you. 